Hi everyone, thank you for watching. For this DIY, I used this canvas pillow cover. I purchased this from Michaels and the size is 18 by 18. You can use any pillow cover that you already have. You can use a bed pillow. I have used this same pillow cover before for other DIYs that I have on my channel. Hobby Lobby also sells pillow covers there for really cheap, but I couldn't find one there in white, so I had to go to Michaels for this one. Here I'm just showing you the SKU number in case you're looking for the same one. So after I took it out of the packaging, I did need to iron it because there were a lot of creases. And I found this sticker pack also at Michaels while I was picking up the pillowcase cover. And I like this because it had a lot of snowflakes. And here is a snowflake that I got the inspiration from. So take out any bling that you have. I picked up this whole entire roll of bling from Dollar Tree. They come in two different sizes, one that is six rhinestones in width and a smaller size has three rhinestones in width. So I took the smaller one and I just hot glued it. And as you can see here, the hot glue kind of leaked through the rhinestones. So I wouldn't recommend doing this directly on top of the pillow cover. This was my first time so I did try a few different ways. So I'm pretty much just eyeballing how I want the snowflake to look. Once I had my first piece down, I took the bling roll again and tried measuring it to be the same size as the previous one, but I cut it three rhinestones smaller only because it overlapped three rhinestones in width, so I wanted them to be kind of symmetrical. So this time I tried putting the hot glue gun on the table, and as you can see, it left a lot of hot glue on my table, which was a little hard to take off. So I will be changing that method once again. And then I got clever and picked up this plastic that was just sitting right next to me and that ended up working really well. So after you're done making your plus sign, you want to make your X. And I tried to make mine about the same size just by eyeballing it and then I cut the other pieces the same exact length. And then I follow this process of just laying everything down before hot gluing it. So one by one I'm going to take the strips that I just laid down and hot glue each one individually. For this entire DIY I only used one of these bling rolls which cost me one dollar the pillowcase cover cost me five dollars with the 50 percent off coupon at michael's so total of six dollars for this project if you already have a pillow cover then you can just avoid that fee obviously and you can make any shape or pattern that you want for the center of my snowflake i wanted the lines to be a little more narrow so i took my scissors and just cut a line down one of the rows of the bling and I wanted to make like a diamond shape in the center of all these lines. So I trimmed about two by seven rhinestones on each strip and then I gave every one of these legs, arms, branches, what have you, every one of these lines a two by seven strip of rhinestones and I also had to cut out a two by eight of rhinestones to have it be the connecting piece. Before I glue anything, I did want to just lay everything down to make sure that this is the design that I wanted to stick with. And I also pulled out these rhinestones from Michaels. I bought these for about $2. They were part of the Halloween clearance selection after the holiday. And I use these rhinestones in one of my other DIYs. I love them. I love the bling and glam that it adds to anything. So now that I pretty much know where I want everything to go, I'm going to begin gluing it. And I'm on one last glue stick, so I'm trying my best to make it last for the rest of the project. Now I don't know why, but I removed all the rhinestones at this point. And then I needed to work on the ends of these lines. And what I ended up doing is I cut a 2x4 strip of rhinestones and added one on each side of the lines. And I formed them into an angle and then added the rhinestones back on in a circle. And then I began gluing again. I took one of my already existing couch pillows and put it inside the pillow cover. And I wasn't done blinging out this pillow cover yet. I did remember that I had hauled these snowflake shaped bling gemstones from Dollar Tree. 
so I wanted to incorporate these jewels into my pillow cover as well. I just love the finishing touch that these other rhinestones gave this pillow and I'm in love with this pillow. I've been obsessing over blinged out things for Christmas and pretty much all year round. Also obsessed with decorative pillows. So this is definitely me, definitely my style. This was another easy, cheap, affordable DIY. Again, you can make any shape, any wording, anything. This is just an idea for you guys. I hope you loved it and check out my other DIYs that I have on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.